welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Some of my Dollar Trees are starting to get some fall stuff out. Um, I might have picked up a few things, but a lot of it was from last year and maybe just different colors, but I don't know what I need for fall, so I'm not buying anything. Uh, my Sarah brought me a nice coffee from Starbucks today. Delish. All right, let us get started. I have a lot of things to share. Um, not a lot of product, but some ideas for you since we don't have a lot of stuff and it's time to start getting ready for Christmas. All right, I found this magazine and it says Smart Money Savers and it's part of, you know, what I'm trying to do this year. It, these are their little thin magazines, but I'm going to take this with me when I go to the beach for some beach reading along with the books. I thought that would be fantastic. So I got that. Um, I grabbed for my niece's dog, Luna, some more bones. She really likes these little four pack. These are not rawhide at all. Um, they're knotted bones and this is made with real peanut butter. And uh, what else? Peanut butter, I think vegetable. Yeah, so I grabbed her those and then these are chicken jerky. So they're really hard chicken and I thought she could chew on those as well. Keeps her busy. So I grabbed those and I picked up one more of these dog bowls. And what I like is the rubber bottoms. I have all the cat dishes, um, but these have the rubber bottoms. So when she's eating, she's not, you know, moving it across the floor. And I have one but I do send these to the dishwasher every time I use them. Some people do, some people don't. I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to tell you. Ah, you know, me and my labels, I'm trying to pull this off, but I gotta wash this anyway, so it'll come off. But, so I grabbed those for the Luna dog. Sarah goes back to school soon, so I won't be seeing Luna quite as much, but I do enjoy having treats here for her. Oh, I wanna stop right here. I have some friend mail that I need to share. I forgot about that. So I got this adorable card. Look at it. First of all, it's Pusheen and look at this kitty. And it's, these are from Alley Cat Rescue. And Rhonda, thank you so much. She sent me a lovely note and a donation for Pelotonia, which I appreciate. So I will get this put onto my chant, onto my ride. And I'm not sure why you had issues online. I know they switched up something, but thank you so much for that lovely donation. And then I got, look at this card. Ah, I love it. I love all the pets. And this is from Lupe. And Lupe sent me a donation as well and some stickers for my planner, which I'm super excited about because, you know, I'm all about my planner life and these wonderful cards and thank you. And I will get your donation onto my ride as well. So I appreciate those donations. And then I received a package from, I'm not trying to show packages, Cheryl from... Bryantville, Massachusetts. Oh, girl, I love Massachusetts. I went, lived in Worcester during high school and I went to college in Boston. Um, she sent me a lovely card. Oh my gosh, look at it. With the little mouse, I love it. And a note, thank you so much. And she sent me some bee stickers cause you know, again, my planner and I'm obsessed with bees right now. I love these, these labels are adorable. I love those. And then she made me something for my kitchen and I cannot wait to put it up. Isn't that awesome? It says, be silly, be honest, be kind. I feel like I try to be all those things. And I cannot wait, it's gonna go on the shelf in my kitchen. And these will go in my planner. Thank you all so very much for your kind gifts and for thinking of me. I didn't wanna to forget to do that. I didn't want to forget. So I got that, let me put those right over there. Okay, next, um, I'll show you what I got. I went to Hobby Lobby and I just picked up a couple little things. So I thought I would share. Um, I grabbed this frame. It's in their woodworking section. This is unfinished. This is real glass. And I think I'm gonna do the laser printing on here and maybe make a Christmas present. 
I'm not really sure, but I thought this was super cute. And then I'll stain it and put something in here. So I grabbed that, that was $4.99. Typically at Hobby Lobby, I wait for things to be on sale, but that type of stuff doesn't, when it goes on, when the woodworking stuff goes like 40% off, it doesn't include anything under $5. So I didn't worry, the Sewology was half price, so I got some Taylor chalk, this is for sewing. It just helps mark on light and dark fabric. I also have a chalk pencil, but sometimes this is just easier. So I grabbed one of those. And then the last thing I picked up was, oh no, two things. I got Rit Dye to do some cross-stitching fabric, and I got Caramel, or, oh no, Camel and Tan. Oops, sorry. So I grabbed these two. I'm really, I like the neutral and the more like earthy tones. The other one I wanna pick up is a chocolate color. And yeah, so I grabbed these just to dye some fabric. Nothing exciting there. And I picked up some perforated paper. So if you are um, my age, which I know a lot of you are, when I was in high school, it had to have been during the 80s. Sometime during the 80s, early 90s, plastic canvas was really big. This is sort of similar to a plastic canvas. This is a 14 count, but it's paper, and it's a little thicker paper, and you get two sheets, and it was $5. But what you can do is create cross-stitch, embroider, like a camp with yarn, and then you cut out around it and then you can use this, I usually would back it with felt and you can use this to hang up present or uh, ornaments on the wall or wherever. So I've got some to try, perforated paper. I've not used the perforated paper before, but I have done plastic canvas. So I thought it would be fun. And I think the benefit of the perforated paper is it's much thinner. So that was all I got at Hobby Lobby, but I thought I would show you. Now back to the Dollar Tree. Okay, I found some more of the cake decorating stuff. I grabbed these for Halloween, the black and white, and then I got these for Halloween, two black gels. What I'm thinking is when I have my October meeting for our whole staff, I will make cookies and cupcakes and decorate them and bring them in. And this is a good price because sometimes these things can get a little expensive. They had these in all different colors, but I just got black for Halloween. So I thought that would be fantastic. Here we go, we got more stuff. I'm bending. I picked up another one of these. My cats, and it's not my cats, it's Alex, is driving me nuts. He keeps knocking, I put their treats in here and he keeps knocking this off and breaking the lids. So I keep buying new ones, but you gotta do what you gotta do to keep the cat treats. The container like this, he also knocks off and this one the lid pops open and he gets all the treats on um, this one when I store him in here he just cracks the lid but he can't get to all the treats I just don't want him getting sick eating too many treats you know so um, I grabbed another one of these are $1.50 this just says positive vibes they have dog cat they just hold treats for the boys so I grabbed them that. And now they're getting all their back to school stuff out, which is fun. I did grab this, it's a back, it's a keychain, but I will put this on my, um, on a backpack or something. I just thought it was super cute and I wanted to show you, but they had a ton of these. So it is a keychain. And then look, it's like, there's glitter in there, but the, the glitter is stars. And then this is like rubber, like a balloon, it's stuff. I love it. They had a whole bunch of different ones, but I liked that one the best. So I thought that would be fun on like a backpack or like a travel bag, something of that nature. Okay, we have more bags. Oh, I think I found, this is in no particular order if you haven't just figured that out. These are new this year, 100%, and I love them. And they are, you can hang them like an ornament, but I will remove the rope or the string and put these in my tiered tray. So we got pumpkin pie and it looks like cherry pie. I just think these are fantastic and they're large. And they're that um, wood with like paper. So if you wanted to, you could probably take the, 
this or paint over it. But I thought these were fantastic and they will look so cute in a tiered tray like in your kitchen for Thanksgiving. So I did grab those because they are very new. And also, I don't think these are new, but it's the first time I've seen them at any of my stores here locally. And it's these um, cutting boards. Now I will tell you, you're gonna wanna get sanding paper because they're pretty rough on the edges, but that's okay. You can stain these, you can decoupage on them, you can do whatever you want. You could drill a hole and make it an ornament. They're pretty thick, tier tray, shelving, kitchen, you can use them as leaners. I think they're adorable. I'm not sure that they would be considered like food safe, but that's okay. I grabbed two because I think they're super cute. And I feel like I have maybe seen these before, other people hauling them, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, and I think in the back to school section, they just have these, but I like to keep a mirror handy. Um, and that's what this is. It's just a little mirror. Hey, you can see outside and you can see Alex. He's laying in the window by me. Um, and they had them in yellow, I think a pink and a purple maybe, or a teal and a pink, I'm not sure but they're cute and it's cats. So I always need an extra little uh, mirror hanging about. For that, I think that was it in that bag. Yes, okay. So let's see what's in here. The last thing I have is a bunch of food items, but, and this is where we're gonna get into some, some fun stuff. First of all, uh, several of my stores had this Organic Valley tomato sauce in a big jar, in a big can, which I love cooking with this. Um, five carbohydrates per quarter cup, pretty standard. Uh, it's just Roma tomato puree, sea salt, citric acid, and spice. So there's no sugar added to this, which is ideal for me. So I grabbed two cans. Um, I like to make butter chicken, which is an Indian dish, and it's so good, and this helps. Cause you need tomato sauce. Now, we're gonna talk about some stuff here. Oh, I got two more things, and then we'll talk about some stuff. Somebody had sent me a message on my Facebook group. By the way, there's a Facebook group. It's called My Crazy Life Lori, and there is a link in the description box below if you hit the little down arrow. Also, I am on Instagram. I update those a lot more frequently than my YouTube just because I'm on there daily. Um, this black cat was important in my life. So I grabbed that um, just for like a little decor piece, but I love it. I like the modern feel to it. So I grabbed one of those and I had something else. Oh, just some shelf liner. So if you're trying to organize things, let's say in plastic shoe boxes, you know, the, or any type of storage and you want them to stand up, but everything slides. If you cut this to fit the bottom of the box and lay it down, then it will stick to the plastic and won't move. And then all of your baggies or whatnot will stand upright and everything won't slide around. So I grabbed one of these to do some organizing because that's where I'm at in life. I'm organizing everything that doesn't move. Okie dokie. Oh, let me put this on. Now, it is obviously back to school time, but for me, it's back to school time and it's start time to start thinking about Christmas. So first I will show you some of the things I purchased. I love these and this is a good deal on the Tillamook sticks. These are really good. They are gluten-free, nine grams of protein, smoked sausage sticks. So if you like, if you like a, um, so I got two, what did I get? Two pepperoni and two original. If you like jerky or meat sticks, these are good. They're $1.25 obviously a piece, but this is a good brand. And I think that is comparative to ordering like a box. So I grabbed those because they're now getting their snacky and school stuff in. I picked up two of these, which are bare naked oatmeals. Um, so it's steel cut oatmeal and then a fruit and granola on top. My lids keep popping off. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. So these are microwavable. They're in a little plastic bowl and these are good until September 30th. So that is good for back to school. 
on that. Um, this here, these are, I mean, they're meat sticks. This is good until April 25th of 2023. So we have that. Um, they also had some of this Quaker oatmeal chocolate. Now this is a four pack and it's chocolate uh, with other natural flavors, 100% whole grain. And I thought, how fun is that for somebody's back to school? I'm making a back to school for Sarah. Oh, speaking of, I'm gonna have, let me go grab something I forgot. Okay, I'm back. Oatmeal, delicious. Um, and I just thought this was great. Obviously you're not feeding a family on this, but this is uh, four single servings, but it will be a great back to school something if you're doing like a teacher gift or, you know, you have a teacher in your life or a high schooler or kids that are going back to school. It's just fun to put those things together. And then they had a lot of snacky snacks out. So I grabbed one of these bags. This is the Creators, or uh, Graters, Creators, Creators. Chicago style popcorn, it's delicious. You get caramel and you get cheese popcorn. And it's all mixed together in a single bag. Now, again, we all have discussed that $1.25 is not cost effective if you're trying to feed a family, but for gift baskets, these are the perfect size. So you pay the $1.25. So I got that. They had Snyder's of Hanover, the little um, honey mustard pretzels. My niece happens to love these, so I grabbed these for her. And again, small bag, good for that. Um, they also had, oh, back it up. Back up the train. These have a really nice shelf life on them. Um, this one is good until November of 22 or Best Buy. This is Best Buy January of 23. And then look at this little bag of caramel corn and feast your eyes on how coated that is. Oh my goodness. And this is good till May of 23. And this is L. Francis caramel corn made with Wisconsin grade double A butter. So these are fantastic gift basket stuff. So I'm telling you, if you're getting ready to do Christmas gift baskets, start getting these little packages because, and then look at these. These are nuts. And the nuts, um, I looked at their date and these are good until May of 23 as well, both of these. So these are just like a honey pecan and these are all natural gourmet walnut, uh, crazy go nuts. I'm trying to see if there is any coating. Contains coconut and walnuts. So they're just little bags of nuts, but they're the perfect size, right? So before I show you everything else, I forgot I had a couple more little things here. And this is all important for this gift box basket. So Sarah loves pink and they have these out. Jot. These are the plastic folders, but it's a tri-fold. That is great for a teacher, for a student. So I grabbed her one of those. She's loving pink right now. Also, my store brought back some more gold toe. This is a three pack. I'm gonna be donating all of these socks, except for I might keep these because they look kind of soft and warm for winter. Since I work from home most of the time, I wear socks around the house all the time. And I love these. These are their casual traveler. They're made with uh, are these the ones that are recycled? Yes, they're made from recycled bottles, which is fantastic. Also, they're not cotton, so if you're out walking, and they should um, keep your feet dry longer. So I found those. Uh, and then in the back to school section, I have shown you this before, um, but we love the big whiteout, so I got one for Sarah. I wish they came in the colors, but that's okay. For a dollar, we'll grab that. I grabbed her a pair of pink scissors to go in her basket. And they have two packs right now. So they had one pack and two packs of Post-Its. I got her the two pack. And I, I really am a fan of the Post-It brand, mostly because um, they stick better. I'm just saying. Now, oh, and then I grabbed a locker basket right? Because it looks like a locker and we're making school stuff. Plus I have a lot of stuff for her. 
but it'll all go in here. It'll fit. I'm also making her, sewing her a couple things, but for right now, that will all fit in one of these, and it's a perfect back to school little gifty gift for her. Now, here we go. If you're doing a back to school, look what they also have. The giant size pencil holders, right? Which would also hold some scissors, some snacky snacks, right? You can put all these in a pencil holder and a gift card, like a gift card to Starbucks or Target or Staples. I think the beginning of the year, gift cards are fantastic for teachers because, you know, it's the beginning of the year and they're gonna need stuff. They, most teachers, if you aren't aware, if you don't have young kids, they spend a lot of dollars in their classroom. So I grabbed two of these. I may send one in Sarah's gift basket, but I just thought this is a fantastic idea to put your snacky snacks, you know, some scissors, maybe some Ticonderogas, which they also sell at Dollar Tree, and then a little gift card. Very reasonably priced ba um, back to school gifting idea. Same concept in the Christmas mug. Instead of scissors, you're packing all the snacks, putting a little food thing together, and then slipping a gift card in there. And now you're done for Christmas with a nice gift for your teacher or anybody, really. So I guess my point right this second is when you're seeing these things, keep keep your mind on the future. Um, look at the expiration or the best buy. So this is good until May. I could buy a bunch of these if I was going to put them in, you know, in here with some nuts and maybe some coffee cups and then a gift card and then that is a gift that is complete and it's thoughtful especially if you know somebody that likes caramel corn or they don't like caramel corn you can put some pretzel bites whatever anything you want in there and that will help now because sarah's you know my girl she's getting oatmeal and all the snacky snacks except for these she's a vegetarian she won't eat my meat sticks. Those are for me. But all these little sneaky snacks are going to go into her basket for back to school with supplies. The bag I'm making her and a gift card, I think. Probably a gift card to, oh, sorry, my chair is squeaking. I know, I'm going to get it greased. I need to do that. So that is everything, everybody. We're gonna start doing some more um, get ready for Christmas ideas. It is Christmas in July after all, but it's time, especially if we're on a budget like we all are. We're all trying to save money, gas is expensive. If you start spending a little bit each month on gifts or baskets or whatever, it doesn't it doesn't all come and hit you at the same time and think, uh, fall, Thanksgiving, November, December time. You know, so these little doll or something, pick them up here and there. Just make sure you have them in a nice organized place. And then when Christmas rolls around, you can throw them all together, put this in a cello bag, and then you can maybe pick up a small gift card and have a teacher gift ready to go that I know they would appreciate. Also Burt's Bees chapstick. Most teachers like Burt's Bees. Um, flare pens, stuff like that. But these, if you see them at your Dollar Tree, which should be coming out soon, these are a nice size mug for coffee, but they also hold a fair amount if you're gonna use them for gifting. I won't need to buy any this year. I think I have three left over from last year, so I don't need to buy any more. But that is everything that I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy, and that you don't mind I'm sprinkling in a little DIY ideas and Christmas gift basking ideas because I think we'll be doing that to, for the rest of the year. All right, everybody, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.